Hello everybody, this is Gamer Gar. Welcome back to another video of Carl Island. Today we've got some really cool tips for you. If you like the chicken costume, then you are obliged to subscribe to this channel and help the Gamer Gar community grow. So for today's video, we are going to talk about beginner mistakes to avoid at all costs. These mistakes can cost you a lot of resources and a lot of time in the game. Let's look at the first mistake a lot of players make. The first mistake you should avoid at all costs is using the rocket domino perk as effectively as possible. Including myself, a lot of players hit the rocks, but they don't hit the rocks in specific places. Rock domino will activate if there is a rock adjacent to the rock you just destroyed. There's a chance that that rock will also automatically destroy itself. But what a lot of people might do is that they might mine rocks that are singled out from the other clusters of rocks in the mines. So when you go mine to save energy, always hit rocks that are close to other rocks, the rock domino will activate. Also, when the rock domino activates, don't strike the other rocks straight away. The next mistake to avoid at all costs is the purchasing of silver kelp inside Ling's lab. When you first go into this lab, you'll notice that in the shop you can purchase silver kelp and gold kelp. Now, the silver kelp is only 250 gold for one, and you do need silver kelp to make a few handy dandy items around your farm. One of them being a sprinkler, which will basically water the farm for you. So a lot of players will try to get the sprinklers as quickly as possible, and a lot of players will attempt to fork out the cash to purchase silver kelp to get those sprinklers. But don't make the mistake of purchasing it. Instead, just stick to the diving minigame, and eventually you will reach an area where you can get tons of silver kelp, no problem at all. Once you get far enough in the diving minigame, as you can see here, there is silver kelp all over the place for you to get. The next mistake you should avoid at all costs is passing out. This game has a hard timer of 1 o'clock in the morning. If you're not in bed by that time, your cart will pass out. You could also get billed money the next day for passing out, and you will also take a penalty to your stamina the next day, which means life on the farm can be much harder for you. The next mistake a lot of players seem to make, especially brand new players, is wasting energy. So when you go to the beach, you're going to notice crabs here on the sand. You actually can't catch these crabs. So, don't waste your energy swinging your net and try to capture these crabs. There's so many different critters in the game. Very easy to mistake these crabs for a critter that you can capture. But instead, it's worth knowing that you can't actually capture these, so save that valuable energy. The next mistake you should avoid at all cops is harvesting crops manually. So, in this game, time is a huge resource and you must save as much time as possible. You should not pick up crops like this, especially if you have a huge field of crops instead. You should take out your lovely site and site the crops away. Yes, it does use up energy. However, you would harvest your crops way faster, meaning that you will have a lot more time in the day to do other activities. So we just picked up a load of crops there manually. Now let's take out the site just to show you how effective the site actually is when it comes to harvesting these crops. As you can see, the site is super effective and we will have all these crops harvested in no time at all. Not only does this save a lot of time, but it doesn't use up a whole lot of energy, which is really nice. The site can't be upgraded, but for what you get, it does the job quite well. The next mistake you should avoid at all costs is not purchasing the first backpack upgrade as quickly as possible. So a lot of people, when they play this game, they might not purchase the first backpack upgrade for a while, and your inventory slots are extremely limited. There's a ton of forageables, bugs, and resources in this game that you can pick up. So the first thing you should do when you play this game is to accumulate 500 gold, that's all you need. Run into Sam's and get yourself that backpack upgrade as quickly as possible as it will mean that you can carry more items. Hence, you can make a much bigger profit. Now the second and third backpack upgrades are significantly more expensive than the first. But the first is only 500 gold and you do start the game with some gold already. You just pick up a few forge builds, pick up a couple of bugs, you should have enough. To get the backpack upgrade on day one, no problem at all. This will save you so much time and resources. So purchase the backpack upgrade, the first thing when you start a new game. The next mistake that a lot of players make when they play this game is that they put up with unnecessary lag. There's a lot of comments on this game where people get untold amounts of lag when they play this game. The best way to fix lag in this game is to just get rid of two pieces of software that will be active on your computer. The first is called Razer Synapse and the second is called the MSI Dragon Center. For some reason, these two pieces of software interfere with the game mechanics, meaning you get tons of lag. But you just simply have to open up your toolbar and just shut them down while you're playing this game and the lag will stop. 
that means you won't have to wait over one minute even five minutes for a game to load up and you won't experience any lag at all when you are playing the game so if you're getting lag playing this game just check to see if you have any of those softwares opened up in your desktop the next mistake you should avoid at all costs is not using all of the processing machines the game actually gives you tappers in this game actually do work however for a tapper to work you must be in the game for a good few days for them to generate an actual sap or a resin for you so if you just wait one or two days and turn off the game and log back in the timer will actually reset this is why a lot of people experience problems where some say they don't receive sap or resin from the tappers other people say they do so the tappers do accumulate the next mistake you should avoid at all costs is to not inspect in the large impacts that happen on your farm satellites and meteors can crash land on your farm and when they do you can actually harvest these resources so we just got a message there in our own game here saying an impact happened on the farm and as we can see a satellite has just fallen down now this satellite can actually be harvested and you can get a lot of scrap from this and you can also get battery packs from the satellite as well so let's use our pickaxe and let's break it open and see what we get as we can see there we got three batteries and we got 20 scrap which is really cool now the satellite is rare like the meteor so when you get them make sure to check them out straight away here we have another huge impact let's go out now and check what we got and this time we got a meteor so let's use our handy dandy pickaxe break open this meteor and see what we get so we're going to use our gold pickaxe again note that you don't need a gold pickaxe to open this one because it's just a silver meteor and as you can see we get tons of silver ore from that one there's different types of meteors silver meteor being a uh, in one type and last but certainly not least we got another impact so we're just going to show you one more impact so what you see here is a gold meteor and we're going to break this open and we are actually going to get gold ore so this is another way you can actually get gold ore in the game without spending thousands of gold and purchasing ore off the blacksmith the next mistake you should avoid at all costs is to not buy certain items from the concerned monkey most of the items he does sell work and they work quite well and they are cool but there is one item he does sell that does not work, and that is the panda outfit. Now, as you can see, I have the chicken outfit equipped that that works no problem. Most of the other clothing items in the game also work no problem. However, the panda outfit does not actually work. So I just purchased the panda outfit here. Let's try to equip that now. And as you can see, it doesn't go into any of our slots at all. So unfortunately, the super cool panda outfit doesn't actually work. Now it's not just the panda outfit that doesn't work, we also purchased the OG farmer hat and that also doesn't actually work yet. If you purchase that you can't actually equip it, which is unfortunate. Hopefully the developers will fix that soon and items they've already implemented in the game, hopefully they can add the visual effects so we can put on the cool OG farmer hat or even super cool panda outfit. The next mistake to avoid at all costs is the purchasing of certain furniture items. Now this game offers a huge assortment of furniture items you can put into your house. It even has a super cool decoration mode that you can use to sort the furniture items around. And it's a really cool aesthetic to the game. However, not all furniture has been implemented. So when you do purchase furniture, especially if you purchase furniture in bulk, make sure you place it all down as quickly as possible. Because if some of the furniture doesn't work, you can very easy then reload your save and purchase the ones that do work to save yourself some money because some of the furniture pieces in this game are super expensive so we just got a red plastic chair there now at the moment let's run into our house just to see if we can place this down on the ground and as we can see here now we do have it selected but we do not get the option to actually place this because it hasn't yet been fully implemented into the game so if this happens to you just reload your save file and save your valuable money the next mistake to avoid at all costs is the use of processing machines. So I said in a previous video that the oil press didn't actually have a function. Well, thanks to the lovely comments I got back from the lovely Carl Island community, I can now verify that the oil machine does in fact have a function. You can actually put various items into the oil machine and you can get back lovely oil. So I just picked up canola here um, down by the cave area and I'm just going to put this into the uh, oil maker right now and this is going to give me back lovely canola oil and i can sell that for a really nice profit as well so just so you know oil maker does indeed work and thanks so much everyone for the great comments thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified for my future videos and as always have a great day